Here's the massive. And here's the sea bucket. Let's line the stringers up. So you can see the bucket's kind of got a little bit more. It pulls in that tail earlier. Whereas the massive kind of keeps it a little bit more volume out, which makes sense because you and you can see the the the, the tail patch that Torin rides it like right back here. Whereas that C bucket, you don't really want to ride it back there. You want to ride it more like right there. Cause it, if you get back here, you can get back here, but it, it's funny because it gets so, it, it doesn't want to swing the nose too much. Cause it's just so, you got, you're so bogged down here and you got so much buoyancy up there. So the C bucket loves to be ridden right here and then spread your foot maybe to catch a turn, but here and then you can even go up i mean you can get there on the sea bucket whereas this one looks like it's probably like here you know i mean i've you've seen torrent up on the nose so but it looks like it, it's going to ride better back here and hopefully turn better obviously because it's got a twin it's got a little bit wider wider tail um versus the sea bucket you know you got a real narrow narrow tail this sea bucket has been through some serious torture, as you can see, for a Volan deck. It's, it's pretty, it's been pretty well ridden. I'm starting to get some, some stringers sticking out in the middle. In the front of it, you know, it looks to me like the sea bucket has a little bit more, a little bit more foiled up. So this carries more fo volume forward there. They both probably have similar rails. I think that sea bucket's even more foiled on the, these rails are even more foiled out than, um, than these are. And the sea bucket has, I think it's a, like a six, like a 50, more of a 50, 50 rail. Um, whereas this has got more of like a turned down traditional or maybe not traditional, but more like, no, they're both kind of turned down. This is more almost 60, 40. But it's even lower it's a pretty low apex rail like the apex is right there um and uh so the party side of the board in the back here is uh different for sure so there's that you know there's that channeled twin fin a little bit wider area back here than the C bucket, which is a little bit more pulled in. I have my, my, you know, mine's two plus one. That's not standard. Usually this is a, usually this is just a traditional um, single fin with V in the back versus having like two channels, you know, for the fins. Um, and then it's got belly. The C bucket has belly in the front. No, thank you. Whereas this has Kind of a single concave, you know, throughout. Maybe a slight Dalton. Maybe a slight. So I can't even tell if that looks like a double to me. It doesn't look like a double. It just looks kind of like a single till about the back. And then I think it doesn't really. I guess that makes sense because it doesn't have channels in the back. Like it doesn't have concave in the back because it has channels in the back, right? That's what it is. So there's just a single concave up there and then it enters into the channel. All that water from the single just enters the channels. Um, I think this board is just really well made. You can just see like the glassing detail and how they did, how they, how they wrap that, you know, that, that glass around these channels without getting down into the, without getting into the um, fiberglass at all. And they've got the, you know, the polished rails versus the matte deck. And then this really nice extra fin blank leash plug. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, but this board has been just so amazing. So it's six, seven, six, twenty-one and a half by three on this one. And I think this one is the same, except it's two and seven eighths. Actually, it's on that. Yeah. So seven six twenty-one and a half, two and seven eighths. Um, but I bet, I would bet that the, I mean, whatever, you know, both these boards have tons of volume, but, um, 
I would bet that they're relatively similar in volume. Um, I would bet that that board, it, it, this, the sea bucket has more foam right there and then a little bit less right there in the nose. And the massive carries more of that foam up into the nose, the beak nose. And then the sea bucket is more foiled out in the tail back here, but it's still got a ton of thickness right here. Like it's really thick there. Um, whereas the more, the, the massive kind of has a little bit more thickness here. So I think that's just going to translate into, if you can get your foot anywhere where that, that extra tail patch is like back here, um, you're going to be able to, to turn this board really pretty well for a mid length, hopefully. So yeah, they're both awesome boards. This one I've just ridden, I probably got a hundred hours in this board. And then this one I'm looking forward to, to trying out. The morning of the earth, massive beauty. Absolute beauty.